Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Alison West, believes squatters should not be exempted from paying property tax. As the debate on the Property Tax Amendment Bill 2018 continued, she responded to concerns of some senators from the previous debate. In the previous debate, opposition Senator Tahaka Obika slammed government for planning to tax squatters, noting that there are over 300,000 squatters in Trinidad and Tobago who are forced to squat and therefore they should not be taxed. Minister in the Ministry of Finance, Alison West, said the fact that an individual is carrying out an illegal activity by occupying land they do not own does not mean that they ought not to pay the property tax. You are still carrying on an illegal activity and so the state has the authority to and in my view should address the illegality but that doesn't mean that you, the person who is illegally occupying land and who is enjoying the benefits of the roads and water provided by WASA and um, garbage collection and all these other things, should not pay tax in respect of that property, whereas the person next to him who scrimped and saved and borrowed and sacrificed to pay properly for his, for his property should be paying tax. She noted that accepting the tax from squatters is generally accepted in law. Judges throughout the world have recognized that notwithstanding that an activity is illegal, it is quite proper to tax that activity. The most famous case in the world, I think, that gives that, um, that, that evidence is that position is Al Capone, because you will recall that Al Capone was not imprisoned because of his um, widely acknowledged involvement in illegal activity. He was jailed finally because of tax evasion. Senator Tahaka Obika in the debate on May 1st said taxing squatting communities is immoral, unethical and should not be part of any bill that passes in the House. He said any person of conscience will not support such clauses. Senator West said the immorality must be set apart. So tax him, yes, and prosecute him as well, in my view. She reminded that there is a provision within the legislation providing relief for people who are financially strapped and unable to bear the cost of the tax.